Hey everyone, what's up? Well, today's video, I thought I should share a video of uh, some of my teas that actually are in pre-molt and some of them have actually molted. So I'd like to share with you, uh, also as a nice refresher course, of how to tell if your teas are in pre-molt or not. So I only have one tea that is currently in pre-molt right now, so I'll share that with you right now. This is known as my last year of Fracta. Right over here. Also known as the Brazilian Smoky Gray Bird Eater. She's been showing a lot of uh, aggression lately, but this is normal for a pre-molt tea. So this is a refresher course of how to tell if your tea is in pre-molt. Well, the very first thing that sticks out like a sore thumb is the abdomen. Now, you can see she has a bald spot, which is uh, pretty obvious. Now, if your tea has a skin colored bald spot like here, like human skin, uh, chances are it's not in pre-molt, but if it's dark like this, most definitely is in pre-molt. Other signs that they will show signs in pre-molt is that they are generally not very active, they're not going to move very much. If you give them hides that uh, they're actually are going to go in it and they might actually block it. Uh, they're not going to eat. Fooding, feeding is uh, no concern to them. They're not going to eat it. Um, profuse web building, some, sometimes they'll web right before they molt. As well as sometimes they'll act very defensively as my specimen does. You can see her chlorocyri is a little spread open. So she's not a happy tea, and I have actually no idea how big she's going to get. And definitely she's going to get a rehouse immediately after she molts. Because uh, she's getting a bit too big for her enclosure right now. And these last doors are actually are pretty quick growing. So right now that's about two and a half. So I'm assuming maybe three, three and a half, or three and a quarter. And Tarantula Canada posted as a question mark female, so... That skin should be sexable enough for me to check it. So wait for the video of when that one molts. I'll keep an eye on her and hopefully catch it on video. It's been a while since I last recorded a tarantula video on molt. Because <laughs> I don't really see them very often. Now certain trees that have, been, that have recently molted is one of them right here. A tea that you haven't seen in quite a while in my collection. This is known as a Sparabophria hoffmanni which is the Central American Horned and this is not a baboon species this is the only horn in Central America as you can see she molted didn't grow very much she was about half an inch now she's about three quarters of an inch you can see she's actually pretty vibrant in color uh, she's sort of like translucent even though the camera isn't showing very well so I'm not going to feed her until um, a week after she molts. I'm just going to keep her plenty of, of moisture. And this is exactly how I keep the moisture in slings. I just moist the substrate. And she just drinks it. Another tea that has recently molted is this girl right here. Tapnikinius gigas, the orange tree spider. Right away I saw the epigastric furrow and I was pretty lucky that this was a female. I kind of knew all along she was a female. And I have a male over here. Male Gigas and female T. Gigas. Tappies. <laughs> the most aggressive and fastest arboreal next to the S. calciatum. Oh yeah, speaking of which, my S. calciatum molted. Which is right over here. Let me just get the... There we go. Don't really, I can't really see the specimen well because they like to hide. And with uh, arboreal species like pokies or your HMAC as calciatum, burrowing is absolutely normal for them. Uh, there's the Pedersenni that he recently molted. And I got another molt that I'd like to share with you. One last one. And it's one of my uh, P. Cambridge slings and holy crap are they growing as like a weed uh, is it this one or is it the other one I have to check I know I have the molt there I just watered them this morning yeah yeah this is the one 
I don't know if you'll actually see her. But there she is. Starting to get her colors. Typically that you would see in a Trinidad Chevron. Yeah, now she's about... Close to about an inch and a half right now. He's pretty much on par with the second one. And that's pretty cool. So, hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come.